What is going on guys? This is The Lost Data here and today we're back again with another episode of Sackboy A Big Adventure. Today we're going to be checking out the level Dar She Blows Up and in we go. Load baby load. How are you guys doing today? Um, today's actually a pretty eventful day for myself. Um, a local business basically held this holiday bonanza kind of thing and my girlfriend and I ended up going out to it and it was pretty rad. So basically the way that it um, worked was if you'd go to like each place, each local place, they would give you a stamp on a stamp card. And once you'd like complete all of them, or once you get a stamp on each other one, you bring it back to like the main, the main ind independent business, like small business, whatever you want to call it. And you'd end up redeeming those um, for a chance of winning like various prizes for the holiday season. I don't know, it's super rad. Um, kind of surprised that this is the first time that, you know, anything has happened with that. Oh, I. No thanks. I'm gonna blow up real quick. But in the process, we found a bomb pizza place. I, I don't know what your guys' preference is, but you know, thick versus thin crust pizza, it was like a nice thin crust, or at least from where I'm from, a nice thin crust. We ain't talking no New York pizza over here. We're talking, you know, but it was a nice thin crust and I was a happy, happy boy. Hey, yeah, uh, turnips, don't ruin my vibe here. I had good pizza today. And what's funny is, like, that restaurant, so, if you're not familiar with pizza, I'm gonna educate you real quick. Um, Sicilian pizza is, uh, supposed to be thick, and they showed us our, their Sicilian, and it was, like, I don't know, quarter inch, like, not thick whatsoever, and I was like, eh, you know, and then my girlfriend, not thinking anything of it, is just like, yeah, you know, like, uh, Let's just try your regular pizza. What's your regular pizza? And it comes out, and it's not like paper thin, but it's like on the thinner side. And we're like, oof. Give me something. I want to order them right now. If that was like an option, I would order them this moment. Um, humble shout out to them. Oh, ow. All right, so we're going to be grabbing this guy. There's another dream orb over here. I guess we're just straight up, straight up taking on a mini boss here, because there's seemingly no reason for us to oh, blow up. I missed that shot entirely. Oh, but they are respawning, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so seemingly no reason for us to be getting all these dream orbs so early on. Yeet. Must have missed the first one, honestly. Hello? Grabbing around. Because I got the last two. Hello, friends. I blow you up. Can I like make any weird jumps over here? No, I don't see anything. I really want pizza now. And like, all right. It's like just a good cheese pizza, but like I could also go for like peppers and onions and pepperoni. And I am a man of simple needs. It is pepperoni, or not pepperoni, but pizza in general. Give me a good pizza and I'll be yours forever. All right, where's this last guy hanging out? That's gonna frustrate me. Can I like throw you back at you? Oh, nearly killed myself there. Feel like I'm being dumb. Can I grab any of you guys? No. Very interesting. New. No. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go through the door and see if it pans out over there. Usually those things pop up in order. So I'm surprised. I haven't seen it over here somewhere. All right, let's see what the mini boss is. It's a man on a golf ball, the ruffled ruffian. Sorry, bud. You're done. Oh, don't try to tr try me with these turnips. They aren't even real. Ooh. Don't hit me, please. I don't appreciate you. You're not even one of the major food groups. You aren't as good as pizza! He freaking at me! 
I'm dead boy. Not to be confused with Sackboy, I'm just dead boy. Also not to be confused with Deadpool. If you've never seen Deadpool, that is a... I'm not a, a superhero movie guy, that is a fantastic superhero movie. I just like the attitude towards the film as a whole, to be honest. That's really what sold on me. And Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is absolutely a fabulous human being. Who, uh, yeah, Ryan, call me, bud. Oh, interesting. Okay, so these things are rotating opposite directions. So naturally, I want to go as fast as possible. Alright, get out. I think that's enough. I might have killed myself in the process. But are we going to die before the end screen? That's what really counts here. No, I'm still alive. Interesting. Very interesting. A very short level. I'm surprised by that. But did we get enough points to get all of the prizes? The prizes are all mine? Yes, we did. Like, easily. And we've got the underbite mustache. Oh, very nice. Oh, check out my grappling hook. That's kind of rad. And that's me. I do the thing. Alright, and back out to the world map. The kingdom of Crablantis. Yo, another way to my heart. Oh, gee, SpongeBob. Real quick. I think I've harped on this before in this series, but... A buddy of mine recently got... Um, the original... Series of SpongeBob. But first of all, I never would have guessed what some of them are. But... The crusty... Oh, this is where this is going full circle. Because I'm like the Krusty Krab Pizza. That's the first season. Duh. That's why I'm so hyped on pizza right now. I've got Krusty Krab Pizza on my head and the fantastic pizza we had today. But yeah, so uh, speaking of that, so, so the other places I went to, that's, that's where this all comes down to is we play Coral Reef. Um, so we also went to, an, it was so it was called, well, I, I don't want to say what it was called, but it was basically called like a, a gallery or like a, an art studio, I suppose. And they were really rad um, because they had all sorts of things like they had um, little necklace pendants that were all like glass blown and then they had these earrings which were even oh really this is a level that's supposed to be played with music thanks guys sorry copyrights a uh, pain in the rear end but uh yeah Ooh. i suppose this probably makes more sense if we're playing with music but they had these earrings um that were like these paper cranes that was super cool uh, speaking of paper cranes i'd segue here I don't remember exactly what it is. Maybe one of you would happen to remember this. But um, I remember at one point in my middle school, we did a play. And this is like throwing this way out there. Um, based on Paper Cranes. And I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's probably relate Like the name Paper Crane is probably in it somewhere. That thing was so sad when I was younger. Um, I don't remember all the details. But apparently it was about Paper Cranes. And that's all that's coming to mind right now. But anyways, the Paper Crane... Um, Earrings, to totally rad and totally unrelated. Did we just get like little glowing devil horns? Oh, hello. Please don't hit me, rockfish. Give me my points. Da da da. Give me my points. Give me my points. It's funny because this is literally my first time playing through level two, and the other level I forget the name of it that had Uptown Funk in it was so weird because, I, again, I played through this whole thing. Oh, hi, guy. Don't hit me anymore. Um, without knowing what like what music was going to it. And I was playing through it after the fact just for fun. And I noticed the music. I was like, wow, that's super rad. And right now I'm just like, yeah, I'm super an idiot. Because I don't get any of the references that these band players are doing. Oh, don't send myself right off the edge, please, and thank you. Noise. That's my marble or dream orb. Rolly, 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 and a dab of ranch. Where are we going? Um, I, I don't like those fish just broke up. That's harsh, man. Harsh reality of breaking up over there. Two tuna fish? Nah. He was like, "You stanky," and she was like, "I know I'm stanky. I ain't the right type of stanky for you." And I, this man, you know. These are all 
Challenges that we have to face at some point in our life, apparently, like the tuna fish. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Hey, this would be helpful if I could actually hear what was going on. Double points. All my points. Alright, what are we looking at here? We got spikes going up the wazoo. Yo, punji spikes are freaking terrifying. It's like one of my irrational fears is falling into a punji sp spike trap. Um, which, you know, where would that happen? Vietnam, basically? Like, if there was one left over? Freaking scary, man. Oh, rockfish don't hit me now. Rockfish don't hit me now. Or also reminds me, sorry that today's episode, for whatever reason, is basically the definition of being scatterbrained. But uh, also, a fantastic video on YouTube, if you have ever listened to it or, or not listened to it. But uh, it is called, uh, I, I believe it's called Seagulls. And it is a parody of, um, well, oh, that's bad to do that. A parody of, uh, or a bad lip reading? It might be a bad lip reading of one of the Star Wars films. And the exact one, unfortunately, is escaping me at this exact moment. But if you want to uh, go down the rabbit hole of the internet, that is definitely one to do. I do also, in fact, see that stairwell there. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything here. Alright, through the door we go. Oh, it's a, it's a singing whale. Whale, 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 we meet here, Mr. Whale. It was actually a really rad level in the first little big planet. That is, The whole thing is basically a chase sequence. A lot longer than that. Um, where you're running away from like a fake Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo, the artist kind of thing. Um, in an underground... Oh, the weddings theme. That's what it was called. Yeah, that's also super rad. Man, I really need to play some little big planet. I need that in my life. A more rockfish. The day I find out that these aren't rockfish is the day I'm going to be very sad. Alright. On we go. I sort of understand the beat that that's supposed to be playing there, but... Give me my points. Give me all the point points. Give me those points. Okay, we're going to go right side. like a luchador mask over there. Hi, Rockfish. And into the plant I go. To the box where nobody knows. Scoreboard. Alrighty, guys. I think that's what we're going to end up calling this one. Thank you so much for coming along with me and putting up with my rambling of things that really don't matter. I don't know, like I said, why today was so scatterbrained, but... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We got a guitar. That's pretty rad. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Sackboy, A Big Adventure. See you then.